as I reflect on what I would like to do two to five years from now in my career, I am in a unique situation in that I'm already doing what I always dreamed about. And so as I think about the future, I just think of ways that I can improve. Part of that is by taking advantage of professional organizations. I would like to become a part of the Association of Teacher Educators. I'm already a member of the National Association of Independent Schools, as well as a member of the EAB, which stands for Education Advisory Board. The Association of Teacher Educators would be a great resource as far as conferences and literature. I'm especially interested in what uh, they have for teachers, standards for teacher ed educators. I'd like to take a deeper dive in that and pass that on to our teachers that I work with. Another, the other organization, NIAS, National Association of Association of Independent Schools. I participate in their conferences and uh, I also look at their literature and a lot of their information. Uh, most of it is a lot of teachers from independent schools and administrators from independent schools helping each other with ideas and advice. The EAB is an organization that our school belongs to, and as an administrator, I get their emails as well as their training where they study problems in education and come up with solutions and data and share that with us. They work with colleges as well as K through 12 schools, and they have a lot of helpful information that they offer and a lot of great support. And so I would like to further uh, my membership with them by taking more advantage of what they have to offer. I also should take advantage of more educational journals, especially since I have access to the Purdue Library. The Teacher Educator has some great resources. Since my focus is in learning design and technology, I want to look at the Journal of Technology and Teacher Education. And as a member of NAIS, I already received their Independent School Magazine, which I get quarterly. As I look ahead to career opportunities, as I said, I already have my dream job, but what I foresee doing is staying at Pinewood School where I work. And right now I'm the curriculum coordinator for K through six. My counterpart, uh, who is the curriculum coordinator for our seventh through 12th grade, had plans to retire within the next five years. And I hope to move up uh, to her job, but to have it look a little different. Instead of having a curriculum coordinator from, for K through six, and then another one for seven through 12, I think that we can have two curriculum coordinators, both K through 12, one uh, with the focus of the liberal arts and the other one focusing on the STEM. And I would be the liberal arts since that is my strength. Another interest I have is inspiring other people to join the teaching profession. We have a huge sh teacher shortage. And so I've included the Carnegie Foundation here for the advancement of teaching. They there have a broad range of what they do. It was when I was in college at Brigham Young University that the president of the Carnegie Foundation came and spoke to us, and the whole topic of his talk was about being a teacher, and that was hugely inspiring for me and actually an influencer on why I became a teacher, and I hope to be able to do that for others through various outreach programs, either through them or something that I can find here locally through uh, some of the colleges um, or other perhaps nonprofit organizations, so I'd like to look more into that. In summary, as I look at being a leader, I hope to inspire other teachers to be leaders in that they can have opportunities to be coaches or mentors or other ways that they can improve the school community. I also want to help them as well as myself increase our knowledge, either in our subject matters or in how to be better teachers through our methods and practices. Put those two together and you have a successful teacher and a successful learning community.